I don't think I've ever seen such a display of spectacle cases. Oh, thank you. What got you started collecting? Well, I used to be an optician, but it's always been a passion of mine ever since I was very small. I suppose the fabulous thing about spectacle cases, early spectacle cases, is that people who could afford spectacles were reasonably wealthy. Yes. So that's therefore, right. they would want something beautiful to show off their wealth. Yes. Absolutely right. Yes. And so, which is the earliest one you have? The earliest one, the very basic ones, were probably the, the early wood ones, or something like that. So, sort of 17th century. This is 17th century. But they were they were around a lot longer than that. Yes, from about <clears throat> the 13th century, and they were very basic wooden cases then. The whole idea then was just to protect the glasses and not to look too beautiful. And how many do you have? I suppose I have about 300 altogether, something like that. And what's your favourite? Is well, that difficult? No, I do have a lot of favourites, but I, I, unfortunately I know very little about this one, but I just think that's beautiful, the workmanship on the back and front. That is beautiful. I think, I think the quality, again, of, of this decoration here, with the, when you put your finger over it, it's got raised embossing on it, which is really beautiful. I think this is probably Turkish. An incredibly good quality. And again, from the 19th century. But some of these, I mean, this, I mean, if I was to choose one that I'm going to run away with, I'd, I'd probably have to choose this one. Oh, that's, uh... in, the, in this straw work. And I think the wonderful thing here, look at the colour when you actually open it up. Wonderful colours in this. Yeah. Napoleonic straw work, absolutely beautiful. Where did you get this one? Off the internet, that particular one. And do many people collect spectacle cases? Um, uh, yes, they're, they're in the, so it's a very specialised thing, but in the world there's probably about 30 people who collect them. Yes, I like to think my collection is probably one of the best. Well, they're marvellous, and every single possible you have, you know, French, gold, well, 14 carat. Is that that's 14 carat that's 14 gold. carat, um, made around 1900. And is that solid gold? Yes. I thought it was gold yeah, painted. no, this is 14 carat gold, French. I mean, there's a tortoiseshell, um, papier mache. You've got a wonderful variety. There's wooden, there's porcelain, there's chagrin. Just every material people could make them in. You have a little example here. Okay. And when you're buying them, what sort of, what are you paying for these? Some I pay what I consider quite little for, and others, you know, I might pay two or three hundred pounds for one of these. The value of these, as you say, varies tremendously. I mean, something like this one could be 800 to 1,000 oh, pounds. Right. Um, other ones, four to 500. Okay. But as a collection, we're probably talking 15 to 20,000 pounds. Right. What, we're, what we're looking at today. This is fabulous. It certainly opened my eyes to oh, what well, you can put spectacles that's what in. I hope because most people, they, they don't realise how beautiful spectacle cases have been. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for bringing those in today. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you.